Okay, in example number two, we will find the range of values of x that satisfy this inequality. Okay, so in order to solve this inequality, I will first break it up into two separate inequalities to solve. Okay, so on the left hand side, okay, or rather over here, I have x plus x squared plus 4x is greater than 0. And the other inequality that I have to solve is x squared plus 4x less than or equals to 6x plus 3. Okay, so let us just work on the first inequality over here. Okay, so by factorizing, okay, so I'm going to, to flip the inequality around, okay, to make it look sort of, you know, nicer to you. Okay, and then I'm going to factorize out the x. Okay, so at this point in time, okay, let us also sketch the curve. Okay, and uh, let me let me show you a shortcut method on how to do that. Okay, so let me just label, okay, on our number line, uh, the values for x, okay, or rather the solutions for x. So x can be 0, okay, or negative 4. Okay, so x can be 0 or negative 4. Okay, and over here, I will label plus, minus, plus, which symbolizes positive, negative, and positive. Okay, so since I want the region that is greater than 0, okay, essentially, I'm looking for the positive region. Okay, where is the positive region? It's over here and over here. Okay, so therefore, therefore, I will say that x can be less than negative 4 or x is greater than 0. Okay, that's for the first inequality. How about the second one over here? Okay, so I'm going to shift everything to the left hand side of the equation to give me this. Okay, so this will just be minus 3 and solving this okay or rather simplifying this okay I'll get to this and finally I'll have x okay I can factorize this to give me x minus 3 x plus 1 okay so I'm going to use this a simi the similar shortcut that I showed you earlier so similarly let me just label down the solutions for x so x can be negative 1 or positive 3 and once again, I'll label plus minus plus. And since, okay, we are looking for the negative region now. Less than or equals to zero is the negative region. So I will want this region, okay? So x is between negative one and three. Okay, let me just pause here for a moment and recall that, oh no, now I have three inequalities to deal with. Okay, and the easiest way to see the answer okay is to use a number line okay so i'm going to draw a number line at the top left hand corner of the screen so i have x okay for the first inequality i have x is less than negative 4 so x is less than negative 4 okay x is greater than 0 so x is greater than 0 okay and let me use a different color for the next inequality so x is between negative 1 negative 1 and positive 3 okay so the second inequality will look like this okay so if we were to stare at the intersection region okay let me just use a, a different color to show the re intersection region okay so the intersection region will be between 0 to positive 3 okay so therefore my final answer Okay, let me just let me just note over note it over here. My final answer will just be x is between zero and okay. Let me just highlight this. X is between zero and negative and positive three. Okay, and that will be my final answer. Okay, so two key things to take note in this example. Number one, how we arrive at this diagram over here. Okay, and number two, how we make use of the number line to help us solve for the final inequality or the final answer. Okay, 
So just to summarize, okay, maybe I'll just leave you some tips as well. When dealing with questions with only one inequality sign, shift all the terms to the left hand side of the inequality. Okay, and when dealing with questions with two inequality signs, as what you see in the second example, break it up into two separate inequalities to solve. And finally, okay, we made use of this plus minus plus diagram or positive negative diagram to help us solve the inequalities which contain quadratic functions. Okay, so let me just leave you some practice questions. You can pause the video here. Okay, and thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. See ya!